Black History X exposes Alice Ball, the 23-year-old chemist who developed the first effective leprosy treatment in 1915, only to have a white professor steal her work, claim her discovery, and watch her die mysteriously weeks later. This is the true story behind the Ball method, the racist academic system that erased her, and how activists finally forced the University of Hawaii to admit the theft in 2000. Fact 1. The Hawaiian Breakthrough, 1915. At the University of Hawaii, then the epicenter of leprosy research due to the Kalapapa colony crisis, 23-year-old Ball solved a medical nightmare. She isolated active compounds from Chalmugra oil, a traditional remedy shipped from British colonies, and crafted the first injectable treatment. Her method cured 78% of patients at Honolulu's Kalihi Hospital, sparing thousands from rotting flesh in exile. Ball's research openly credited native Hawaiian healers who first used Chalmugra oil medicinally, but Arthur Dean systematically removed these acknowledgments when he stole her work, falsely presenting the discovery as wholly his own. Fact 2. The Academic Heist, 1916. After Ball's sudden death at 24, white chemistry professor Arthur L. Dean stole her research, renamed it the Dean Method, and mass-produced the treatment without crediting her. He later became university president and burned her lab notes. Fact 3. The 82-year erasure, 1916-1998. Ball's name was scrubbed from medical literature until historian Dr. Catherine Takara rediscovered her thesis in 1977. Even then, the university refused to acknowledge the theft until student protests in 2000. Fact 4. The Suspicious Death, 1916. Ball died after mysteriously collapsing in class. Records claimed tuberculosis, but no autopsy was done. Colleagues noted she'd been exposed to chlorine gas in Dean's lab weeks earlier, a substance used in WWI chemical weapons. Fact 5. The Stolen Legacy, 2022 Update. Though Hawaii finally erected a plaque honoring Ball in 2007, her family has never received royalties from the pharmaceutical companies that profited from her method, now used as a template for modern injectable drugs.